Welcome back. So when we last left off, this guy was uh, getting glassed and then it got um, putty sprayed on board. So I was up on the machine to get milled again for the second go round, and uh, there you can see it's underway. And on Wednesday, the guys put the heavy layers on the first one of these uh, wing spar plugs here. So uh, you can see that one's basically done. So that just needs to be trimmed around the edges and then have the bracing constructed for it. And then they moved on to the other wing spar um, mold and started the layup on that. And here you can see they're putting uh, some cabasil around there where the um, wax profile is in order to smooth things out so it's easier to, for the carbon to lay down uh, flat. And on Thursday, the uh, guys started sanding on both of these aileron uh, spar plugs. And those are actually a little smaller and um, came out a little better than the, the wing spar ones, so they'll need a little bit less work. So, but everybody's uh, on that um, pretty quickly. And back to the engine, I still have a few things I needed to finish off uh, before it was ready to start. So, uh, first thing was I needed to get, um, see that reservoir in there, the coolant reservoir. So I got that mounted up there. And it's just sort of temporarily there because we're probably going to move it around. I'm probably actually going to change it to a metal one later once we get, get everything dialed in. And I got all the different uh, wiring sorted out there for the temperature sensors. Um, for the gauges there, those are the ones for the intake uh, temperatures and there you can see the vent lines are all hooked up for the coolant reservoir so uh, that's all dialed in now just need to have some coolant put in there which actually that actually happened today but I don't actually have any video of that um, anyway and Britt was nice enough to uh, quickly weld in another bung there so that's vacuum so we have uh, vacuum now for the very first part of the intake and he put these two in here so we got a feed line and a vent line out of the radiator um, so those are good. So it was nice enough. He was nice enough to just allow me to just come over there and quickly do those for me. So now we have an extra gauge here, and it's a boost gauge, but it basically has vacuum as well. So that'll tell us whether or not the intake is uh, pulling a big vacuum because the air cleaner may be too small. Um, in which case, we'll know. You know, we need to up upgrade it and make it bigger. Here's the uh, accelerator pedal. We just got a stock one <laughs> out of the car for now. And I've just got a little wedge in there. I've taken the spring out of it um, so we can kind of lock it at a certain uh, thing. Anyway, that's that's going to give us our throttle control uh, initially. So anyway, getting really close now to having everything done for the engine. And uh, we should, with any luck, have it uh, running uh, next week. And the guys move super fast on these um, two aileron spar plugs. And so you can see Jeff already um, primed uh, both of them uh, today. And the guys are already um, on the second round of sanding now. So this is the first first round of sanding with primer, and the first the one before that was with a no primer. Anyway, they move along pr pretty well on those. And uh, by the end of the day today, they pretty much had most of them done. Just the little side walls needs to be done there, and then uh, they'll be ready for the next round of primer, and then on to waxing. So um, that's pretty good that we're knocking down these uh, spar plugs. And uh, really heading towards the end of uh, all the big stuff uh, for making plugs and molds, which is exciting. And you might recall that one of the things we want to do is um, heat the fuel in the tanks because diesel fuel will gel at high altitudes. So what we've actually done in here, this is our, our fuel cell for the test stand. And you can see I've got a thermocouple inside there. This is The camera's just looking inside the tank. And we run the wires from the thermocouple up through this vent line here and back out the bottom. So we're going to be able to hook that up to our thermostat uh, thing. And we're actually probably just going to get a gauge that we're going to install into the panel there. And so we'll be able to watch and see um, when the fuel get, gets returned to the tank, how much the engine actually heats it up and if it's going to be enough um, to warm the fuel in the wings on the actual aircraft or if we're going to actually have to tap into the heater core uh, flow. Anyway, you see I uh, put five gallons of a diesel in there, so we're ready for that. And um, here I just turned on the fuel pump just really quickly, and you see it just didn't take long, and it just drew the fuel in through the filter there, and then I stopped it because I didn't want fuel up to the engine yet. So the fuel pump's working, fuel filter's all dialed in, and it's pulling fuel out of the tank there, which is good. And as I said, the coolant uh, is already in there, so we're getting uh, really close to having things able to be started. So next project for me is, uh, this is the um, governor controller that you saw before and I actually have to create this adapter plate so I've just got a little bit of um, MDF board there and I've just sort of mocked it up and uh, just sort of aligning the holes and stuff and just uh, drilling them so 
this thing can mount up to the existing power steering mount on the engine and then you know bolt through and basically hold it itself all together and uh, a while back you know we were doing this thing with a with a tap and we actually got some of these transfer uh, punches um, now so I can use that so here you can see there's my transfer punch just the right diameter one and uh, because that stuff is so soft I can just push with my hand and create the little indentation that I need for where the hole is going to be drilled there and uh, there you can see just twisting around that gives me good enough for what I need and just creating this thing out of MDF and then I'll just transfer that onto a bit of aluminum which I've ordered um, and so then we'll have you know exactly the right um, bracket that we need so here I'm just drilling the hole and this is obviously sped up and just a pilot hole initially so the drill doesn't walk as well and then uh, go to the full size 5 16th bit there and get that done so it didn't take long to get that little bracket or at least template of the bracket done and there you can see it's temporarily bolted into place and needs a little bit more work probably need to shim it out a little bit just to get the pulleys to line up correctly but you know this is not required to get the engine running um, it's this is you know for the propeller but um, you know my goal now is to move on and uh, start putting the uh, the belt drive system together so we can get the prop on when that arrives but uh, anyway uh, stay tuned um, and definitely tune in next week because uh, we have uh, Ed and uh, James also from MoTeC coming and uh, there's a chance we may have the engine running next week. Anyway, thanks for watching.